Hey, boys and girls, so happy to see you. So happy to be starting this exciting new week in school. Remote learning. What does that mean? What are we doing? What we're going to be doing is pretty much what we've always done, only now you're at your house and you're not at school. So what I'm going to do is I made this little video here to kind of help us figure out what we're doing and how we can do our work this week. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get on Google Classroom. If you're using an Android tablet or phone, you can go to the Google Play Store, like I have technology right here, and you can look right there and download it. If you are using an iPad, you can go to the iTunes App Store and download Google Classroom. If you're just using a regular Chromebook or laptop or computer, you can go to classroom.google.com. And that's going to get you where you want to be. Now, a hugely important thing is that you are going to want to log in using your school email and password. It's your first and last name, 2029 at Milford MA, and your password is the 0M0. Now, at school, you didn't have to do that because we're always just kind of logged in on our Chromebooks. But if you're logging in for the first time at home, you're going to have to do that when you get to the Google Classroom website. If you log in with a parent's email or anything, it's not gonna work, all right? So once you get to our Google Classroom, you're gonna see that you actually have a lot of Google Classrooms. You're gonna be seeing that because a lot of specialists have invited you to their Google Classroom. So what you wanna click on for us is right here, Mr. O's Virtual Classroom. Ooh, it sounds so fancy. Virtual Classroom, all right. And the first thing that you're going to see is a schedule for the entire week. It says remote learning for the week of 4-6, which is tomorrow or today or yesterday, really, depending on when you watch it. It's Monday, though. All right. And when you open up this schedule, it is going to have all of our activities for the week. And I think a really cool thing about this is that, you know, at school, we kind of have our set schedule. But here, you can do whatever you want first. If you want to do math first, do math first. If you want to do social studies last, do social studies last. If you want to do reading first, do reading first. It really doesn't matter to me as long as we get our work done. That's pretty important. And right here, we have reading, writing, math, and social studies every day. And boys and girls, the activities that we're going to be doing in all of these subjects are really going to be a review of things that we've already done. And this is going to be a great opportunity for you to show me everything that you've learned and how you can apply it to different things, your reading strategies, your math strategies, all the skills we've learned in social studies and science, okay? It's gonna be a great way to do it. And on here on our schedule, there's gonna be some links to things like Brain Pop and Newzella, ST Math. Down here tomorrow on Tuesday, we're gonna be doing a map project. There's the directions for that. But a lot of our work is going to be in our Google Classroom, right here where it says classwork. Now, there are gonna be assignments given to you every day, and they're gonna have the day on it. So for instance, today it says Monday, dog edition. Guess what you gotta do on Monday? That's right, dog edition. So when we click on dog edition, it's gonna be something like we've already done, a review of two digit edition, but it looks a little bit different. It's like a worksheet, but it's pretty cool because we get to do it on the computer, all right? Also, a little uh, life hack here, a little tip. Go to view and hit zoom and zoom it to 100%. That way you can see it nice and close. Somebody, because I'm such a nice guy, already did that first one for you. Don't worry about it, happy to do it, all right? And what you can do is you can use scrap paper to solve these problems and put your answers right in those boxes. If you click in the box, click twice, it makes it a little bit of cursor, and then you can type in your answer there, okay? Now, something that's gonna be super important for you to do on this work, and all your work, and something that I can't show you because I'm the teacher in the Google Classroom, is when you're done, there's gonna be a turn in button, and it's super important that you hit the turn in button. That way I get to see all the great work that you're doing, okay? It's just like if you did work and then didn't hand it in to me, right? I wouldn't know what you did. So I wanna see all the great work that you're doing, and the easiest way to do that is to do the turn in button, okay? So that's how things are gonna be working from now on, especially as we figure things out. Now, boys and girls, I know it's a lot different from the school. 
And I know it can be kind of hard to figure out how to do something sometimes because we're not used to it. We're used to doing work kind of the old fashioned way and it's new for all of us. I know it's new for you and it's definitely new for me. So this first week, what we really want to do is try to go in and try some things out. If you're having a problem or having an issue, please email me or dojo me or contact me however you can. I'm happy to help in any way possible. I want to make sure it goes as smoothly as possible for all of us. And as we figure out some problems and things that arise together, like I said, it's the first time that we're all doing this. We figure out what those are. We can make it even better for the weeks coming up. All right. So boys and girls, I miss you all. I can't wait to see the great work that you're going to be doing this week. We're going to continue to have Zooms and things like that. And I, uh, Really miss you guys. I can't wait to see you again soon. I can't wait to see all the great work that you're going to be doing this week on our Google Classroom. Bye, everybody. Nope, I couldn't find the button. Now I found the button. Bye.